everyone, so today I finally got around to being able to do my How I Curl My Hair Using a Flat Iron video. I hope this video helps some of you, and I just want to go ahead and put it out there that I am not a pro at curling my hair using a flat iron. I still prefer using my curling iron. I find it a lot easier, but being able to curl your hair with a flat iron is good for multiple reasons. One of them is because if you're traveling or anything like that, you don't have to have lots of different tools with you. You can just take a flat iron, you can straighten your hair, you can curl it, anything like that. The other thing is for storage. It'll save you space, it'll also save you money, so it's good if you know how to do it and if you like the curls that it gives you because it doesn't give you the same curls that a curling iron gives you. You can definitely tell, I think, when somebody curls their hair using a flat iron instead of using a curling iron. So I've been doing this for a little while, I have to admit. I tried doing it a long time ago and I just could not master it. I tried like every single day for quite a while to curl my hair using a, a flat iron and I just couldn't get it down. But recently, over the holiday break, I actually one day woke up and I was like, you know what, I want to try it again. And I think I did a pretty good job. So I've been using it um, to curl my hair lately and I really like the curls that it gives me. So I wanted to show you guys how I do it because I've watched lots of other videos out there that show you how to curl it. and. I never really learned from them. I didn't know, you know, what to do. So I have just a couple tips that, you know, if you follow those, I think you'll get a pretty good result out of it. Also, I'm in my bathroom. I hardly ever, actually, I've never filmed in here. I filmed a little bit of a mini room tour, which is on my second channel. I'll link it in the bottom bar below. It's not my full room tour, but it's a little sneak peek since my walls aren't painted yet. So I can't do a room tour yet. I gave you guys a little sneak peek and I filmed in here, but that's all I've ever filmed in here. Um, so I don't know how the lighting is going to work out. I know I'm either going to look really orange or really, really washed out. And also, I think I'm echoing quite a bit, so I'm sorry if that bothers you throughout the video. There really was nothing I could do about it, and I wanted to film this video standing up um, so that you could see, you know, how I curl my hair, and that's really the, the only way I can do it. I can't really curl my hair sitting down um, at my vanity area. Okay, so long intro aside, let's go ahead and get into the tutorial. All right, so far all I've done is I've washed my hair and then I sprayed a little bit of the Tresemme Thermal Creations Heat Protecting Spray all over my hair and then I blow dried my hair and then I sprayed this on my dry hair again so that now when I use my flat iron, my hair is still protected from the heat. So I sprayed this twice every morning on my hair and I've talked to you guys about this. This is a really good dupe for a Chi 44 Iron Guard, which is a really expensive heat protectant. This is a more affordable dupe and I really love it. I found mine at Ulta. So now I'm just going to brush my hair out and make sure I have um, no like knots or anything like that. So just brush, brush, brush. Now I'm going to section my hair off. So I'm just going to take all the hair that's from the top of my ears up and I'm going to pin it on top of my head just to get it away so that I can work with the bottom layers first and then work my way up. So I'm just going to twist this and put a little clip right there and then divide my hair evenly in the back and pull it forward. Here's where you want to take your flat iron. Now I'm using my GHD flat iron for this because I found that I tried it with all my different flat irons and the GHD is the one that gets most hot through here. So any flat iron that is skinny, if you have one of those really fat or thick flat irons that are like this big, unfortunately it's not going to work for this type of tutorial. You want one that's pretty skinny and one that is either ceramic or whatever type of material it is all the way around in this area because this actually gets hot too and that's how your hair is going to curl using it. I'm actually going to take my earrings out just so that they don't get in the way for this part of the tutorial. Alright, I typically like to separate this bottom section into like three sections but I just take about an inch of hair right here and then you want to take your flat iron and the only way I know how to explain this to you is to make sure you keep your thumb up. So if you see kind of how I'm holding this here, I'll show you from all angles, holding like this with my thumb on the top, I'm going to go up to the top of my hair, Teddy stop scratching on the door, I'm going to go up to the top of my hair with my thumb up, clamp it and twist it around like this, and then you want to pull down in an even motion. Try to stay going the same, um, whatever this word is called, um, speed through the whole hair, and then when I get down to the bottom. I like to twist it a little bit more. I've seen that I had a little bit of steam coming off the hair and that's actually from the heat protectant that I sprayed. It might not have been dried completely, but that's totally fine. It doesn't mean that your hair is burning or anything. So as you can see, I have a cute little curl right here. This one didn't turn out exactly the way I hope they do. I like it to be curled all the way down, not just curly at the bottom. So I'm going to try it again on another section. And like I said, this took me forever to finally be able to kind of do 
So thumb up, flip and twist, and then pull down at an even speed. I think that's the main thing that you need to remember. Um, thumb up is one of them, and then the next thing is that you want to keep going at a consistent even speed. If you start um, stopping and stalling like I just did, it's going to mess up your curl. So then let's do this one last section right here on this side of my head. Sorry about that, I got a phone call I had to take, but typically I would use L'Oreal L Net Hairspray and I like to spray each section after I do it just so that they don't really have time to fall out while I'm working on other sections. But what I have under my sink today is Herbal Essences Tossle Me Softly Flex Flexible 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 Style Hairspray. It looks like this. So I'm just going to take this and just spray a little bit all over my hair. And then now we're gonna go on to this side. This side for me is a little bit more tricky because I've gone back and forth between holding it in this hand, doing thumb up and flipping, I find that this is still a little bit easier, but for me, then you have to worry about the way that when you flip it, you have to wrap the hair around really quickly. So I'll show you guys what I mean, but you really just need to kind of test it out. <laughs> Anyways, you really just need to test it out with how you're comfortable doing it and how you find you get the best curl out of it. But again, I'm just going to section this into about three sections. So here's my first little section. I'm gonna take it in my same hand with thumb up, start it up here, flip it, and do you see how I kind of had to wrap the hair around? That's the only way I found um, it really works. And then I'm just going at a consistent, even speed. Like that. And then I like to kind of tossle it right when it stops and it kind of makes it wave a little bit. So now I'll show you again with one more little piece. This side for me is more difficult because you have to worry about when you flip, you have to flip the hair over as well. So pull it down evenly. noticing but I like to keep mine horizontal when I'm pulling down that'll give you these type of curls you can do it sideways if you want the thing that I find is you can see that the heat stops right about there and this part of it really doesn't get hot when I find that I keep it vertical it kind of falls down a little bit and it doesn't curl my hair as nicely so I really like to just keep it um, horizontal because I can control uh, where the heat kind of hits the hair so if you see what I mean by I have it horizontal instead of vertical. And then flip it around and then I'm going to spray this section. All right, that's all you do. Now a little tip that I wanna give you is that if you mess up on a piece or if you curl a piece and you find that it doesn't really look that great, I like to finish up my whole head. I find that sometimes you won't be able to tell if you've messed up on a couple pieces. I typically mess up on like four or five when I'm doing this. I curl my entire head and then if it's still noticeable, you can go back and fix that piece. Also, you don't want to try to go back over it when you can still feel that it's hot. Like if you put your fingers on a strand that you just tried to curl and you put your fingers on it and it's your hair is still kind of warm, if you go back over it immediately, it's not really gonna fix itself because it needs to cool down first. So if you do mess up on a piece, my tip is just to finish with your whole head and then see if it's noticeable. So I'm gonna keep curling my whole head, but I'm going to speed this video up and I'll come back at the end so I can show you guys how I like to style it. All right, so I just finished curling my entire head, and as you can see, some of them are really structured, some of them are loose. I like to have my curls a little bit looser, not so ringlet. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my hands like this, and I'm just going to shake my fingers through my hair. And I'm just gonna do this a couple times. I don't wanna lose too much of the curl, but I want it to break up a little bit and be a little bit more wavy than curly. So do the same thing on this side like this. Especially right here, I really like to kind of shake them out. And then when I have them the way I want them, I'm just going to take this hairspray and do one more just little coat of spritz. I like my curls to stay in all day. 
and I find that if I spritz it with enough hairspray, that's exactly what happens. So that is how I curl my hair using a flat iron. I hope this video helped some of you. If you were kind of on the fence about it, if you weren't really sure how to do it, if you've tried doing it before and it didn't help, hopefully a couple of my tips are going to help you be able to master this. I still have not mastered it, so if you guys have any tips or if you know how to curl your hair with a flat iron, I would love if you would leave it as a video response below. Also, if you have a different texture hair, it might help other girls if they don't have the same texture hair as me, if they can go down to the video responses and scroll through and maybe find someone who has the same texture hair as them. So if you want to leave your video as a video response below, I would love to watch it and I'm sure there are some other people out there who would love to see it as well. If you can't leave a video for any reason, feel free to leave any tips or tricks in the comment section below. And I We'll talk to you guys later. Bye.